Okay. So student introduction, this slide I'm going to skip right now. Uh, guys, how many of you from different state? Anybody? No one, right? Yeah, I'm from Chennai. You can understand Telugu, right? Ha, ha, I can understand. Yeah, yeah uh, I'm from Bihar. Krishan. Bihar. I'm from Uttar Pradesh. Okay, okay, yeah. guys. Right, okay, I'm Karnataka. gonna... Okay. okay, no props. Uh, I'll teach in both languages, okay? Common language is English for everybody, so that... Yeah. 90 yeah. percent. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, please go on. I'll take all your questions at the end. Okay. So due to uh, you know huge number of audience, I cannot control every time you guys and again I cannot go and check. This may consume our time. Okay? Divya, Divya, please go on mute. Okay. One more thing, like uh, if we are keep on repeating also, if someone will make nice, what will happen? Management is going to monitoring this. They are going to remove them. The moment they remove now, Again, they cannot access, they cannot log in this meeting again. Okay. Okay. So this slide I'm going to now this actual slide. Okay, let me start from here. Okay, guys, I hope many people joined today. Okay. So before coming to here. Uh, you guys done some research on mules, right? So, what is MuleSoft? Anyone having any idea? It is an integration platform. Okay, it is an integration tool. Very good. Okay, any other answers? Okay, you know that it is just an integration tool, right? Okay, perfect. Salesforce bot and MuleSoft. Uh-huh, very good. It eliminates donkey work. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, all are valid points, okay? True. Okay, let me start. Okay, so here, so MuleSoft. MuleSoft is nothing but this is the one of the software company. Okay. So, and again, this is an integration tool. Okay. So there are so many other integration tools available. So why you came here? Why MuleSoft? Why not other integration tools? Anyone having answer for this? There are so many, so many, so many integration tools are available in the market. See, I made, you know, some list. Apigi, Tipo, IBM, Yes, Talent, Oracle Bus, WSO2, Wokato, Snaplavi. There are so many integration tools are there. Why you came here? Why MuleSoft? Why not other tech? Why not other integration tools? MuleSoft is a middleware. No, the, whatever I wrote here, all are middleware tools. You know? Because it has less coding company. Mm -hmm. So it is easy to use. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just a drag and drop all we need to do. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'll come back for this question later. Okay. So first of all, MuleSoft is one of the software company. Okay. This MuleSoft, it is an integration tool. This MuleSoft is developed by the MuleSoft company and it started in the 2006 year. Okay. So after 12 years, recently, three years back, Salesforce acquired this organization. Okay. 
so already you know mule sap is nothing but it is one of the top integration tool after that salesforce you know this is very huge company i can say very huge company this organization acquired this company so the moment they acquired this company so salesforce this is the big organization as i told you right they will have so many customers or clients okay they will have n number of projects okay in all of this project wherever integration will come into picture they are going to introduce this mule sub because this is their own tool now right if we have a car okay you cannot ask you know your uh, friend car right hey i want to travel to my hometown can you give your car no right if you have your own car what you will do you will go with your car right so similarly if salesforce will have n number of projects what these guys will do they are going to use their own integration tool that is called mulesoft so already for this mulesoft there are so many projects will be there so many companies are using now salesforce also will have so many clients and customers okay again they are going to use same mulesoft in their customers or clients place so that what will happen eventually last year, two years onwards there are huge openings i can say okay there are huge openings for this mule soft and packages are so amazing you know you can't believe in my previous batch students you know uh, one girl for four years she got 18 and a half lakh one guy he kept you know three years he got 15.5 one guy he kept you know three years he got eight lakh that depends you know but package is too good so for this tool okay i'm so, um, sorry to interrupt you uh, one thing it means if the yeah. company wise you are saying that the mule is good then oracle esb dell boomi all companies are reputed in big mnc's rather than salesforce yes yes i'll cover that uh, other integration tools in the next slide uh, just allow me 5 to 10 minutes okay okay yeah yeah i'll take that question okay i can definitely help you on this okay okay thank you so first of all why we will call it as this mule soft why not some aditya soft or birla soft or some other xyz soft because so mule is nothing but it is a male donkey right what donkey will do Ah, I'm asking general question. Not this is an interview question, right? Hard work. Okay. Yeah. If we'll keep you know lot of clothes on top of the donkey, what this guy will do? He will walk. You know, he is going to do some hard work. Okay. Hmm. But by why they mention this name as a mule shop? We have to eliminate that hard work. we need to deliver our work in a soft manner or smooth manner so that's why they introduce this name as a mule soft so this is the reason behind this this name is they named it as mule soft so here we are going to eliminate the donkey work so eliminate the donkey work means i'll give you simple example okay so if you want to write hello world program in c language or c++ how many lines of code will be there you just tell me just What your assumption okay including headers like in c we are going to write right class include stdivo.h conio.h something okay with the basic syntax it will come around 6 to 10 lines correct yes okay so if you take any language java or c c++ it may take minimum 5 to 10 lines of code will be there to print the output hello world but whereas in mule sub let me show you so don't ask me all these things like again i'll show you uh, in the demo sessions also don't be hurry now just i'm drag and drop something okay see i'm not doing anything
okay so don't ask ask me what it is right now so even if i explain you can't understand anything just i'm showing how we need to eliminate this donkey word okay now what i'll do so just i drag and drop two components one is listener one is logger okay i will explain you what is this listener listener is nothing but it is going to listen the request which user or client sends so as a user what i'll do i am going to give some hit from the postman so here i am going to give some hit the moment i click on send i'm passing something see i got 200 guys go on siva okay thank you see can you see here it got the message saying that hello world it got printed right so if you take other languages c c plus plus java or python we have to write some code many people will scare about this coding right so here uh, they introduce you know this integration tool in this new top there is coding everything will be drag and drop so you have to take some components here and you just drag it here the moment you drag and drop automatically back in some code will be generated in the form of xml okay now i'm going to delete this if i come back here one second let me take one press project so that you can understand very easily so in the back end uh, the xml code uh, generated by default yes by default correct okay. not, yes. not a java code not a java code okay. okay so let me show you just i'm being hello see i created some project see let me go back to the configuration xml by default we have this code okay once the moment you create this project you will get it by default four lines now what i'll do i'm going to do same configuration just drag and drop one component see if i come back here earlier four lines right now see 10 lines did i wrote any single line of code here no right so here in this new sub everything will be done so here we are going to eliminate the donkey work so we can deliver our work in a smooth way or soft way when you call go on me hi sir yeah please go on me okay i will take all your questions Okay, now, now let me go to the next slide. So as we discussed, MuleSoft is nothing but it is a integration tool. What do you mean by integration? Anyone can answer for this? Communication. Joining, joining communication. Yeah. Combining okay. multiple tools into one application. Yeah. Multiple applications can. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Um, communicating different systems. Different systems. Very good. Okay. So let me explain you this definition in two ways. One is technical definition. Another one is general definition. So each and every concept will, you know, first. Uh, show you i i mean i'm going to explain you in general way then we will compare that and i can show you technically so that you will remember lifelong okay not only this demo every class will be like this so Sir, why, what do you mean by integration general... voice is breaking one second yeah. voice is breaking 
not as a, not audible is it for yeah. everyone no sir some disturbance is coming one second oh, yes, yes sir uh, some, some breaking sir yes sir the voice is not audible voice is breaking okay how about now yeah sir it's better it's very fine it's very fine now Okay, guys. I switched my network. Uh, like, is it okay now? Ah, oh, yes, yes, sir. sir. It's okay. okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Right. Thank you. Okay. So, this definition I'm going to explain in two ways. One is general definition. Another one is technical definition. So, first of all, what is integration in terms of general definition? the communication between any two is known as integration like between two softwares or between two human beings that we can call it as integration so right now we communicated through zoom okay zoom is one of the integration right similarly coming to technical definition so this is the technical terminology so integration is nothing but it is a technology which is used to transport and transform the data between the end systems so here end system is nothing but any system like which we are going to connect like target system that you can consider it as end system end system is nothing but it could be anything it could be database it could be sap it could be salesforce it could be file it could be mobile it could be web application anything you can call it as end system okay so in real time what will happen they are going to provide one source system and one target system so requirement will be like this in the source system you are getting some example data okay target system it will not accept xml it will accept only json format now what we need to do we have to transform the data so for that we are going to use this integration tool that is called mulesoft in the mulesoft we have transform message component by using the transform message component we can convert the message format from json to xml or xml to json json to java json to dw json to csv csv to json csv to xml like this you can convert it according to your business requirement you can convert it that is called integration okay whatever you said that is 200% correct just a bit elaborated that's it okay Excellent. now yeah next thing so once you, see i'll take your questions later in meanwhile if you have any questions you can post in the chat box i'll take it okay sure sir yeah thank you thanks for understanding yeah so see once you got job in the mule soft not only in this mule soft or java any technology the moment you join the organization what you will do once your onboarding is completed what is the next step it is kt knowledge test okay yes. so before going to kt first what they will do they, they are going time. to provide some checklist so once you join the organization they will create a outlook id for you mail id your employee id everything they will create right the yes. same time they are going to provide one checklist in this checklist suppose if you are a mule soft developer what and all the softwares you have to install on your machine that list they are going to provide you okay 
not only for this mule soft even if you are a java developer if you join if you are going to join any one of the new organization they will provide all the list of softwares so we have to install all that list of softwares who is going to install that software where we need to install that software okay that i am going to cover in the next 5 minutes this is very very important many people they don't know about this see getting the job is very easy but once you got the job you know you have to behave like you know experienced guy okay so i am going to cover all these things here okay so first thing what are all the softwares required for this mule soft okay so if you want to develop if you want to integrate any two systems or if you want to you know uh, transform data from one system to another system what are all the softwares required everything we uh, i'll cover now okay first thing is we do have this application any point platform this is not a tool this is just a, a cloud based application okay next any point studio this is the tool okay next postman so if you want to test your application we will use postman okay see if we have all these three fair enough so we can learn the mule soft we can implement something we can test it but the moment if you join any organization so they will provide kt right you, someone told me they will provide kt so in the kt they will say hey boss our code will be located in the git uh, so and so branch can you try to pull that code and uh, keep your environment ready like this they may tell you so in this case no one will teach about this git and github okay this git and github it will be helpful for not only this mule soft as a developer okay everyone need to learn this git and github these two concepts why because very first time the moment you join the organization initial one week or 10 days they will provide kt in that kt only they will explain you where is our project okay so you have to download that project if you want to download that project in your local machine you have to use this git and github understood so that's why i introduced these two devops tools here uh, this is the devops tool okay git but still i introduced here next we have a slack slack is nothing but this is a communication channel so here we are using whatsapp facebook right for chatting in the organization they won't allow to chat in whatsapp that means in the projects in outside you can chat that is not a problem but in t like uh, in your project you should not use whatsapp now okay you have to use uh, microsoft teams or zoom or slack okay so any one of the uh, tool you have to be aware of this understood so these are the list of softwares for mule soft why because we are going to learn this mule soft so that's why we have to know all these softwares okay now my question is are we going to install all these softwares yes sir no 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 very no. good only any point no no we are not going to install any software at any cost i'll tell you why okay why because see even though if it is open source also until unless if you don't have proper approval you should not download any software at any cost in some of the organizations what will happen if you download anything automatically mail trigger will go to your manager then immediately manager will call you and ask you why did you download you know that software you have to give some justification okay see downloading the software it won't take you know much time it's a 5 minute job but the thing is we are violating the protocol we are violating the rules over there right first thing even if you know mule soft or not they won't bother about you have first thing you have to follow the protocols okay that you need to remember 
i will tell you how the software will be installed in the organization i will take three different companies okay one is very big mnc okay another one is some cmm level 1 or level 2 companies and the third one is startup companies i worked all these three kind of uh, companies so that's why i'm going to explain you this okay so uh, thing, one one question so it it means if we are not uh, going to install any uh, particular software yes so how how we perform our training in further upcoming sessions yeah no here we can perform i am talking about in the office okay here okay, i am going okay. to provide you all the list of softwares okay i can show you how to download how to install everything okay okay okay, okay, okay. i am talking about in the you know office whether you join this course or not uh, you know that i am not sure right but wherever you go first you have to yeah, learn yeah, some yeah. basics so that's why i'm covering this or else it's no good. one will no. spend this much of time here okay 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 got it yeah yeah so once you join the see i told you right i'll take three different uh, kind of categories very big companies see uh, in very big companies what will happen they are going to maintain some ticketing tools uh, let me take one example service now okay so they will have some ticketing tool so they are going to provide this spreadsheet okay so what we need to do in the service now we have to raise a request okay i'll tell you how to raise that request so now before moving to that i may ask you a simple question i told you right i'll explain in two ways general and technical now let me go let me ask you a general question so i want to buy iphone so how can i do that or how can you do that we can go to shop directly no right now i'm in a rural village okay imagine we can place it order ah, online only request online. Yeah, yeah. okay online for online. so based on my choice i can go with amazon or flipkart or some other xyz e-commerce website right or directly i can go to uh, apple store in the online correct so according yes. to my uh, my you know wish i can go with uh, amazon or flipkart mm -hmm. what i will do i am going to place some order let me take flipkart so in this flipkart what i'll do first what i'll do i'll go to flipkart website and then next step what i'll do email and password no no anyway we do have username and password right we search for the product ah uh, we need to search for it whatever the product i want let me imagine i want this iphone 13 what i'll do simply i can see that all this configurations price it will be there in my budget or not everything i can see if everything goes well what i'll do order it i will add to cart then i'll buy it right similarly somewhere i'm getting some serial nice please go on mute okay thank you next so similarly if you want to install any software in very big companies same we need to go to the service now imagine this is service now portal okay you have to come here and you have to type the software name that softwares they will provide you list uh, list will be look like this first i want to download any pan studio what i'll do i'll go to here i'll type studio don't worry studio will not come here imagine just okay what i'll do i'll click on search so that it will display different different studios according to my version i can select it once i select it what i'll do i'm going to add it then after that i'll click on buy or submit right so the moment i click on submit what will happen immediately mail will go to your corresponding manager okay so like this you have to add all your list of softwares in the service now you have to click on submit once you submit directly mail will go to your manager manager will see okay uh, this newcomer joined for this guy these and all you know list of softwares are required okay he is going to check all the softwares whether this guy is going to work all the softwares or not 
then what he will do he will get one option saying that okay or something the moment he click on that immediately again you will get mail saying that your manager approved the below list of softwares please download you know all the softwares so the moment you got like this directly you know in the service now once you open the software centers all softwares will be downloaded automatically just you just uh, install it just double click on it and open that application use it this is how it is going to work in the big organization understood now let me explain you some level 3 level 2 level 1 companies so here what will happen same procedure we need to follow but little different they will not maintain the service now and all because that is very much costly okay so what these guys will do they are going to internally they are going to maintain their own ticketing tool okay so we need to log into that ticketing tool okay so what and all the list of softwares you want to download that you have to make a note okay in the body in the gmail we are going to write some body right suppose let me open this okay if i open this here we are writing some body right all software list of softwares you can write it here and the purpose as well okay these uh, level 2 and level 3 companies will be somewhat strict okay we need to give uh, you know some uh, purpose why you want to download that software at this moment we have to write it due to project requirement something you have to write it and then you have to click on submit once you click on submit you will get a mail saying that your uh, ticket is uh, generated this is your ticket number so the moment you got that that mail you have to forward to your manager and a network admin so networking manager will be there you have to send that mail to two persons one is your manager and a network manager so they need to approve that once they will approve that that mail you have to send to the network engineer so then that guy will take you know access and he is going to access your laptop and he is going to download all the list of softwares after that you can use it this is the second process and the third process is startup companies in startup companies no one will be there you are the boss okay you can directly download it from the internet you can ask him like do we have any you know uh i want to download some list of software so do you have any you know uh service now like this do i need to raise any request or like this you just ask him if it is open source he will ask you to you know download from it somewhere or else if it is you know licensed one they are going to buy and they can download and they can give it to you this is how it is going to work in all the three different companies okay so without proper approval don't download any software at any cost why because i told you every company they are going to maintain their own protocols some people simply they will open youtube and they will watch okay at the end of the month network engineer he is going to trace everything what you did on the laptop everything they are going to monitor okay sometimes if you done any mistake they are going to bring all these issues then it will be problem for your job as well okay don't do unnecessary things in the office laptop okay so now you can ask me any questions here related to only the softwares but for training i am going to provide everything okay any questions now so what is git github Uh, git git and github these two are the devops tools okay uh, see once you create a project where you will keep your code see suppose you worked uh, one company imagine you worked for ibm two months mm -hmm. whatever code you developed that will be there in the laptop after that you know you have some work or you have some marriage or something you took two weeks leave okay so the okay. moment you took two yeah excuse me sir 
one second let me answer his question okay okay so you took leave for 15 days mm -hmm. so in this 15 days your work will be delayed right yes so who is going to work on this task another because one. that code will be there. another one how it will work help that code okay. will be there in his laptop right how you will get it Okay, so it is a central repository for organization. Ah, is common source file. That repository also private repository, not public. Okay. Only for organizational purpose. Ah, correct. I mean, Only it. your organization, and in your organization, all members cannot access. Only people who are working in this project, they will have only. Access that to limited access. So this this is basically the versioning tool like PVCS and all. Correct. You are right. Yes, this is the version control system. Okay. Okay. I'll take you know separate uh, classes for this. I'll take you know uh, I'll provide you know how to download, how to install everything. I'll cover. Okay. Okay. Are you going and, to cover uh, Bitbucket also? Bitbucket and Git both will be same, but only thing is uh, you know. Uh, There is no different. Just UI will be different. Okay. But uh, uh, I can, if you want, I can cover Bitbucket as well. In both case, Git and Bitbucket, I can show you how to push our code to the GitHub or Bitbucket. How to pull the code from the GitHub or Bitbucket. Both I'll show you. Okay. Can I ask? Sir? Yeah, yeah. Go on, Vinay Gopal. Uh, sir, uh, before you go into this course, we can need any coding knowledge. No, not required. First of all, here we are not going to use any coding. There is no coding in yeah. the main stuff. Only for data view, we need to write some logic. Okay, for that we yeah, have to write. Like that queries. Ah, uh, even I cannot okay. say queries like uh, simple like for loop things and all. Not that much of complex. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I hope no one will have questions on this. Uh, sir, sir, are you going to cover uh, data data wave and uh, yeah, 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 mean also something. Yeah, yeah. What and all I am going to cover, I'll show you. Are the end. Okay. Sir, how many days this? Yeah, yeah. Everything I told you right. If you have any questions related to only these softwares, you can ask me. Still, I have demo is there. Still, I did not finish. I am not yet done. Okay. I'll take how many days it may take, you know, how many hours, you know, what another I'm going to cover everything. I'll show you. I think you shall proceed for yeah. another one. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Let me go to the next slide. Okay, so key highlights of Mule Soft. Okay, so here question came into picture. most of them. this is also interview question one of the interview question okay so compared to all other integration tools why mule why not other integration tool so what is the difference between other integration tool and this mule soft definitely some interviewers they may ask you this question so that time you just tell to the interviewer hey boss in mule soft we have UI controls. We have more than three fifty components or connectors will be there. If you count, you can see these are all components or connectors. You can see components or connectors. Like this, we do have more than three fifty components or connectors will be there. These are all some default frequently used. They provided here. If you want to download more. you can come here and you can type it see suppose if i want to connect with the database the database what and all operations will be there okay if i want to connect with the salesforce see all components are connectors will be there so you can tell to the interviewer okay in mule soft we do have uh, more than 350 components or connectors will be there by using that you can easily achieve any kind of integration okay that is point number 1 okay next point number 2 we have a data view someone asked me do you cover data view obviously data view is out of the mule soft okay 
so by using this data view we can do any kind of complex transformations okay we can make it very fast by using this data view suppose you are getting some 1 lakh records into xml format same you want to convert into json by using single line of code you can convert that entire xml into json in the span of 30 seconds that much of faster this data view okay so this is the another beautiful feature in the mule soft okay and also this mule soft will have a well established partner ecosystem for resources okay there are you know so many organizations mule softs you know they are using so many openings will be there and you will get awesome documentation training videos support for mule soft everything you will get it okay we do have some inbuilt monitoring tool visualizer policies log tracing for everything all will be available in one single place that is called anypoint platform just now we discussed right in the list of softwares first one is anypoint platform see the moment you open this any platform you will get all things in one place like you can call it a jumbo pack okay so here what will happen you will get all the monitoring tools like uh, if you want to deploy your application to cloud hub everything see we do have access management what we can do with the access management we can create a users we can create business groups we can do some audit logs here so by using api manager you can set up some policies okay you can deploy your application you can monitor your application visualizers uh, monitoring separate tools you can see all will be available in single place whereas if you take other technologies apart from this mule soft okay if you take tipco and all for tipco if you want to deploy something you have to buy you know separate service this service again you have to buy it if you want to monitoring whatever you deploy again you have to buy separate service for all service we need to pay extra so that's why those are not up to the market okay all things will not be available in a single plate we have to buy it different differently so that's why other integration tools are not popular so this is the reason mulesoft is more demanding tool in the market understood so these are the some highlights here some platform challenges will be there let me explain it any pun studio i told you right we need to install some any pun studio so for this it should work only if we have 8 gb machine it will work sometimes what will happen even if we have 8 gb also sometimes it will hang so that is the drawback in this any point platform high license cost compared to other platform see obviously initially it will be low cost only once it is more popular what will happen they are going to increase the cost that is the business strategy correct see if someone will start a restaurant or tiffin center what they will do first nicely for 10 rupees they will give awesome dosa right in few days what these guys will do they are going to addict to that dosa okay so for 10 rupees we are getting maybe after uh, three months he is going to increase five rupees okay let it be only five rupees right let it buy for 15 rupees we'll get good dosa after two months again he will increase to 25 okay see once we habituated to that uh, restaurant or hotel frequently we will go because we like the taste right so that is the strategy which they are going to follow here as well initially it was very low cost meal, meal shop now most of the customers they are using this so that's why increase the cost because anyway it is popular they are going to buy right only one time right so that's why they will buy okay this is not our headache okay this is company will take care we are not going to pay any cost right understood yes. okay next so this is the real time life cycle this we will cover in the this is completely end to end 
uh, after completion of course i will explain this next these are the other integration tools which are available in the market but none of them are more popular okay i can say there is no competitor for this mule soft up to now so you may have one question on your mind okay right now mule soft is more popular many people are joining this course and getting the job what will happen after 5 years maybe some tipco will come into the you know booming or debumi will come into the picture or ws go to or workato okay so don't think like this maybe after 5 years workato will do some dramatic change so many customers they brought this okay up to 5 years this mule soft will sit ideally no right that company they are going to always they are going to find some new features they are going to reduce the you know they are going to eliminate the donkey work and the next five years it will be more popular right agree or not yes sir okay so now if it is stock it will be always stock okay until unless there will be some dramatic change okay that change you know even we cannot expect any one of these other integrations even if we can expect you know that much change customers need to buy right they need to give some demos they need to explain to them and also cost wise also they need to compare they need to give you know high quality product with the less price compared to meals up they need to buy uh, they need to sell very less then only they will buy right or else they won't buy agree or not so like this so many challenges will be there uh, to grow all this other integration tool they want to implement something new very you know frequently or rapidly it will be somewhat difficult so that's why i can say mulesoft is the top integration tool at this moment maybe after 5 years or 7 years okay okay now let me explain you one use case okay after that uh, i'll take your questions okay so before moving to this uh, see usually other institutes they are going to provide demo only one day but frankly i'm saying in one day one hour you know we can't finish demo so that's why what i am doing here you can attend completely four classes free all four free classes you can consider it as demo if you like then only you can continue okay next three days also class will be there same time and it will be completely free you don't want to pay single rupee attend my request is whether you can join this course or not please try to attend all four days after that you can decide okay now let me tell you one use case here so we have you are working one company xyz company maybe you can keep it infosys or ibm some xyz company for every company they will have the client then only they will get the income right once they got the income they will pay to the salary to employees right so here first requirement we will get it from the client okay so once we got this requirement to the company in the company we will have some architects and managers what these guys will do they are going to create a story or theory in the jira board okay jira is nothing but it is one of the ticketing tool okay let me open this is also open source i can show you guys how will get in the requirement in the real time i will show you so here project is there right so they are going to create it here see project see story arrow story right issue type if you see here story or theory they will create a story or theory in the service now. that means once we got the requirement architects they are going to segregate that project into sprint wise sprint is nothing but each and every company they will have some sprint some of the organization one sprint is equal to 10 days 
in some companies one sprint equal to 15 days that means they are going to assign some task on sprint one what you want to do in the next 15 days everything they will mention over there okay so accordingly we need to work on it. okay so before explaining this three phases let me ask you one general question i'm going to ask you in all the demo same question so i want to construct a villa so or you want to construct a villa what you guys will do very first step need to buy a land ah, I, okay i do have a land okay land is a go for the good design is it yeah very good blueprint you can call blueprint is nothing but design only right yes 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 okay so first very first moment what we will do if i want to construct a villa or house first you have your own land that means if you want to work something you have some company right so we have a land we have a company next so we will get the requirement even we have a requirement ah uh, so we are going to do that ground work and all everything we need to arrange some money everything so ground work is done so your project is ready now we need to work on it first what we will do we are going to design our villa so who is going to design this architect architecture design architect is going to design your villa okay so here also i am comparing to mule soft here also once you got this uh, design requirement so architect or someone he is going to design that and he can uh, he will give the requirement to us so based on that requirement in the design phase you have to design that okay so design is completed what is the next step then what you have to do the raw materials bring the raw materials and build very good we are going to collect the raw materials like iron brick sand cement everything right so here also services uh based on our requirement whether i want to go with uh, this request or listener or logger i will decide okay like this is iron this is brick this is sand okay this is something else okay like this i can compare it okay what is the next step so you have some raw material then you start the work please mm -hmm. Re recheck the design okay you are going to recheck the design okay design is perfect it is 100% perfect then yep. develop the development we will implement the plan implement the plan. we are going to implement the plan who is going to implement the plan the developer no i am talking about villa who is going to develop that villa construction engineer civil engineer okay maybe builder you can call it as builder yes okay builder is going to build the house okay here once we create uh, once you design apis okay you have to start the implementation implementation is nothing but development we need to start the development okay development is done okay next what is the next step deploying directly will deploy decoration and everything so your house we is test. completed builder build your house once he build no, your house it. are you going to check or not whether yes. you know uh, sink came into exact position or not you know Our child bedroom was you know proper or not you know kitchen will be there in the north side or left <laughs> somewhere will be there <laughs> yeah we are going to test right so here also after completion of your you know development we have to do some m unit testing okay so here we will have see src test m unit we need to do it m unit okay maybe you can call it as testing so again after development we need to test it so everything is perfect what is the next step take hmm. over take over the villa that means house warming that means you are going to enter inside the house 
that means you are living in the house so that we can call it as deployment here deployment is nothing but the process of bringing your application to live environment you guys are using whatsapp right so where you will get that whatsapp Play store or app store, right? Yeah. Why you are like hesitating to answer? Play store. Ah, if you are using Android, you will get it in Play Store. If you are using iPhone, you will get it in App Store, right? Yeah. So that App Store and Play Store, you can call it as some cloud. Or okay, there they are going to deploy their application. So here also, once we finish our development we need to deploy our applications to cloud hub whether you can directly publish your applications to cloud hub or on prem on prem means on premises on premises means in our place that means if you have your own server you can deploy your application in your own server or else you can deploy to cloud hub okay so sometimes they may ask you question in the interview how will get the requirement simply they may ask you how will get the requirement tell them we will receive the requirement from the client okay so the moment uh, client will share the requirement to the company my architect or manager he is going to you know split that entire project into sprint wise okay according to sprint we are going to work on it so this is how we will get the requirement based on the requirement we are going to involve all the three phases in the mule sub like design development deployment this is how you have to answer to the interview okay so this is how we will get the requirement in the office okay now okay so after this we have three phases in mule sub design development deployment so my question is are we going to work all the three phases in mule sub no 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 we we only develop how can you say only development see if you are going to start a project from scratch without design how you will deploy at least there is a blueprint right see if you do not have a proper plan to construct a villa where you will keep swimming pool where you will keep master bedroom where you will keep child bedroom will be not working in all three phases it will be working in any of the phases mm -hmm. very good valid point see that depends on organization to organization and moreover completely depends on requirement yeah okay so maybe sometimes you may work only with this design phase sometimes you may work only with the development sometimes you may work with both phases design and development sometimes you may work only with the deployment this deployment mostly devops guys will take care okay sometimes you have to involve here sometimes if it is a startup company you have to work all the three phases right only for this mule sub they won't hire devops engineer you have to set up cicd pipeline by your own understood so that's why what we will do here we are going to cover all the three phases in this training okay so if they will give requirement any phase you have to work on it that's it okay so here mostly we need to learn we are going to work in the next 35 to 40 hours we will work 10 to 13 classes with this platform the remaining 20 classes will work with this studio and two classes will work with this deployment okay so i can say entire 35 hours we are going to cover all this okay now let me take two more minutes uh what you will get in this course okay so in this course see this course content i am going to share it to everyone okay this is the course content which i am going to cover if i explain now also you cannot understand 
what is this vm connector smtp and all so that's why i can share this with you okay git github connecting to database salesforce somebody asked me data view data view part 1 part 2 error handling git github connecting to database connecting to salesforce batch processing cloud hub deployment policies object store scheduler scatter gathers property files like this okay so at the end of the course you know uh, you will get interview questions topic wise company wise phase wise phase wise means we have three phases size right? design development, design, development, development. So after completion of complete design phase, I'm going to provide all the interview questions which are related to design. Then company wise, suppose if you are going for TCS, what kind of question they may ask? If you are going for LNT infotech, what kind of question they may ask? Like this, I'm going to provide at least 10 to 15 company interview questions. Then phase wise, design development deployment, then resume preparation. After that, I can give you some personal references. After completion of this course, once you kept your resume in the Naukari, again, I will add you in one more WhatsApp group that is called job and referral group. I can add over there. And here you will get five live APIs in the design session. This you will not get any institute. I can bet you, I can challenge. This five live APIs, you will get it. Live means whatever I worked in the organization that I'm going to show to you and connecting to MySQL database and uh, how to load that records by using this MuleSoft, how to insert into this database. Okay. So in real time, we never seen any database. Why? Because we do not have permission to access this database. Database engineer will be there. He can create a table or, uh, you know, database for us and he can provide to us. By using MuleSoft, if you get 200, then you can imagine you inserted records into database successfully. You cannot come and see, but I can show you here. Why? Because it is an open source. We can download it and we can see it here. That you will get it here. Okay. That is the another one. You will get it. And help you, sir. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm coming here. Now, list of softwares I'm going to provide. See. Uh, here we do have three levels of certification in the MuleSoft. MCD level one. MCD is nothing but MuleSoft certified developer level one. Okay. Whenever you are going for any interview, for sure they may ask you this question. Okay. If you want to do this certification, you have to pay $250. In our Indian currency, it will be close to 18 and a half, uh, sorry, 18K or 19K. Okay. This you will get it completely free of cost. I can help you to get the voucher. Once you got the voucher, not audible, sir. one second. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, we can hear okay. you. Perfect. So this you will get it free of cost. I can help you to get the voucher. Once you got the voucher, what and all the questions they may ask you, questions and answers, everything I can provide you. Okay. So for this exam, you have two hours time limit. I can confidently say within 30 minutes, you can clear that exam and same day you will get the certification as well. See, the moment you enroll this course, within 10 days, you will get this certification. That I can promise you. See, promise means I can tell you, you have to follow it. That's it. See, whatever I explained, if you did not do after up to 20 days, Again, you can ask me, uh, hey boss, you told me that within 10 days I'll become certified dollar. Without trying, how you will get? Okay. If you follow, definitely within 10 days you will become a mule sub certified dollar. Understood? So this MCIA, MCPA not applicable to you guys. Why? Because if you want to go with any one of the certification, at least you have to work, you have to be genuine work experience with this mule sub, at least two to three years then you can easily understand. This will be very difficult. Can you see? If you want to enroll this MCIA, they are going to provide only five days training. They are charging this much. 6,250 dollars into 76. How much it will come? Nearly 4 lakhs 20,000, I think. Very good. Into 76. 
फोर लैक्स सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड ओके वी हैव टू पे दिस मच ऑफ अमाउंट ओनली फॉर फाइव डेज इन दिस फाइव डेज ही इज नॉट गोइंग वन सेकेंड आई डोंट नो व्हाट है नाउ actually okay home turn maybe because of that you know, some bandwidth issue can you hear me now yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah. see only 5 days they will provide they are going to charge 4 lakh 75000 okay in this 5 days they are not going to explain not even one practical complete theory okay why because i attended this training okay simply it's you know uh, waste of now so uh, just uh, put that uh, trainings so what is that is stand for one uh, mcpa this is advanced okay. level certification yes after MCD the level means, one yeah. correct see if you want to go any one of the second one or third training first you have to finish this mcd level one okay once you done this you are eligible for mcpa or mcia MCPA is nothing but Mules of Certified Platform Architect. Platform means this is completely related to this any point platform. Okay. 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 And the MCIA means it is a combination of both platform and studio. Mm-hmm. Mules okay. of Certified Integration Architect. Okay. But in this course, I am going to offer uh, this MCD Level One free of cost. Then whatever I explain, everything you will get it. Apart from this. you will get uh, my uh, sql videos completely free why we are going to provide sql because most of the projects are related to database so if you learn that queries it will be easy even if you don't learn also that will be easy why because database engineer will provide if you learn that is the added advantage right so for that reason we are going to offer my sql uh, sql videos completely free of cost okay So you will get one certification, one extra course that is MySQL. Can I ask one question? Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, this is a uh, Mule software. Uh, what is the interlink between SQL Server and uh, Mule software? What is the uh, interlink? See, I don't know. Okay, let me tell you. Yeah. Not only this MySQL. Okay, by using this Mule software, you can connect any application. You can okay. connect with the database. You can connect with the SAP, Salesforce. see uh, if you go to the organization they will have their uh, own requirement right yeah by using this mule soft we can achieve any kind of requirement whether that could be sap or uh, mysql or sql anything understood so what kind of requirement only the integration part i think you are referring yes i can say see uh daily some Employees will join in your organization, right? Yes. That data you want to store in the database. So yeah. there also you can use Mule Sub. See, suppose every week they are going to onboard two hundred members. Okay. That two hundred people, you know, names, entire data you can keep it in one spreadsheet, mm-hmm. or else you can keep it in one SFTP file location. From there, I can pick that and I can insert into the database. Here okay. I can use the integration Mule Sub. Like okay. this, so many requirements will be there. Okay, thank you. Thanks for uh, understanding. Okay, now, uh, okay. Uh, See, so apart from this, what you will get, you know, uh, we will create one WhatsApp group. Once you enroll this, we will add your number in the WhatsApp. So daily, uh, I can give you one or two interview questions. You have to prepare answers by your own. Okay. after that uh, what daily i can give you some task you have to do it okay whether if you get error or if you get success response you have to post in the whatsapp group okay so that i can monitor who and all you know preparing and all everything so after that i can provide you one complete uh, you know uh, pdf this consist of all interview questions starting with your self details then followed by the roles what is your real time project okay like this i what and all the naming conventions coding standards you are going to follow in your project like this i prepared everything 
this i'm going to share with you okay after maybe two weeks like this okay i'm going to provide all this see out of you know if you go for any interview okay out of 10 questions five to six questions you will get here itself i can say five to six questions easily will get here okay that's why many people are getting job you know after completion of my training understood so that's why you can see good number always uh, you know per demo also see uh, in this month this is the third batch i started okay first two batches we have very good number okay so that's why many people are joining here okay so now uh, please continue three more days uh, demo is not yet done still i need to explain so many things in mulesoft okay so any questions you can ask me now one by one hi sir this is sirisha one second uh, let me stop this recording